Hello again, folks, and welcome back to Let's Play Tornico's Adventury. Adventury? Adventure. The Mystery Dungeon. I'm your host, Game Darius. Last we left off, we found the joy box. Uh, problem is... Oh, oh yep, you do a lot of damage. Problem is, is that now I have to head back up with the joy box, because I thought that the... I, I thought that the herb it is so as I could just leave the warp herb. Yeah, no, doesn't allow that. So now we're just gonna traverse back up the stairs, level by level, which isn't so bad now that I think about it. Mm, I say that as I run into yet another one of these guys. Seriously, Thunderstaff is OP. Do not nerf. But as I get higher and higher in level, or, well, closer and closer to the surface, rather, the less powerful the monsters are going to become once more, so... You know. It's so terrible. That's my theory, anyways. I hope my theory is correct. As much as getting levels is awesome feeling... Uh, dying is less awesome feeling. Just... Hey, I can whomp the magicians in one hit. Excellent. And that just went back the way you came. That's fine. Let us ascend! I'm not going to let the enemies of these other areas... Well, I say I'm not going to let them. I'm, I'm trying not to let them overwhelm me or whatnot. Because that is a quick way to my demise. If I get attacked by multiple mummies, then I'm probably still boned. Well, at least it was just an antidote. Jack. Always play smart. Doesn't matter how weak the enemy is. Eventually, if you just keep on trying to push your way through all these enemies when you're not strong enough, uh, chances are you're going to get thwomped. Something fierce. And uh, that would be no good. Especially since now I got the joy, the uh, the chest. I don't know if it's this. Is it the same chest from the first game? Can't be the same chest from the first game. This one is explicitly is the one that. Uh... No, this is a jewel chest. Jewel. <clears throat> oh, and I just realized something. The demons, uh, the demonites, can probably. Steal the chest from me. Warp away. Oh no. <laughs> I better get off of these levels as soon as possible then. What is this? That's fine. I need a little bit of health anyways. Don't know why I did that. Oh, that's a dead end. Means the one room that's up. Ah. And now I'm level 10. I have to laugh a little bit about the animations of this game. Whack. Uh. Because the way that Tornico wields his axe is less that he's swinging it and more like he's just shoving it in someone's face when you look at it from an angle that's not diagonal. Oh, now the game's just giving me all the goddamn. I don't mind. Back.
It's even funnier when you do it from like up top or down below. I'm not gonna get a good example in because this game's suddenly just giving me all the stairs to ascend. Ah, damn it. Misty, oh, you know what? I'll take a. Uh, yeah, see? Just like he's shoving it in his face. I like this axe. This is a good axe. Whack. 42 damage at this point. Man. I wish this damage was consistent. <laughs> And we ascend, we escape. Best score so far. Return the king's jewel chest. Yippee! Oh my goodness, this is most certainly my lost jewel chest. Wow, Tarloon, you finally passed my test. I I died once, dude, come on. Now I grant you leave to search for dun treasure in the big dungeon to your heart's content. However, the real mysterious dungeon is truly foreboding. Therefore, I will grant you a book of tips that contains the best advice for exploring. This is my final present to you. I suggest that you read this book at home, perhaps during the evenings when you're relaxing with Nene. Also, before you go, be sure to speak to all the members of my court council once again. I didn't even do that in the first place, but you know what, sure. There's cursed equipment in the dungeon too. Once you equip it, you won't be able to remove it. Your statistics may not be adversely affected, but you'll be unable to equip new weapons and shields. There's also many types of rings, but if you put on a cursed ring, beware. If you become cursed by the equipment you find, try to locate the uncursed scroll, then use it. There are many fabulous treasures in the mysterious dungeon, but also many traps. Swinging your sword in the, uh, oh, excuse me. Swinging your sword in the empty air in front of you will force these traps to become visible. Whenever you're low on HP, always be leery of traps. There are many more types of monsters and items in the mysterious dungeon than the trial dungeon. You'll find various types of rings lying around too. When you put on a ring, its effect will continue until you remove it. However, like staffs, you won't know which ring you have when you first pick it up. Therefore, I think it would be wise not to wear any ring until you re that read an identity, identify a scroll, and discern its effects. There are foes in the big dungeon who can corrode your shield. If this happens, its value will decrease. Bronze minus one, bronze plus one, bronze plus zero, bronze minus one, bronze minus two, and finally, bronze minus three. That last one really sucks. A bronze shield may be an initial strength of plus three, but after corroding, it will drop to a useless my plus zero. However, you may gild your shield by reading a plating scroll. This will make it corrosion proof. Otherwise, you must replace a ruined shield. Oh, by the way, some special shields are impervious to corrosion. There are many useful items lying around loose in the mysterious dungeon, but be careful. Some can disorient you, like the Confuse Herb. This herb will make you stagger around stupidly like a drunken sailor. But, but, now listen up. Throw it at a monster, and it becomes dizzy. <laughs> Got it? Use items well, but use your head too. Mr. King, you don't have a really big building. Oh, excuse me again. Seems like a lot of adventurers have been attracted to the mysterious dungeon. So listen carefully to my instructions. Move di yeah, okay. I know how to move diagonally. Was that last bit a joke or something? Anyways. Glorious. Congratulations, my darling. Oh, Papa, I'm really proud of you. Now you can go treasure hunting to your heart's content, just like you've always dreamed. Look, dear, this is our new store. Yes, Papa, we have a store. We have a store. We built it just for you. Just like Indoor, I'll sell all the goods you bring back to our store. It'll be a great success, you'll see. And you can also save up all the gold and gold you bring back and use it to expand our business. I can't wait to see how far we can go with this. The sky's the limit, right? Hey, you look tired. 
Come have yourself a nice, well-deserved rest, darling. Such a good game. Hmm. Excuse me. That I have more time to drink. Today will be your first day to explore the mysterious dungeon, right? Before you go, if you want to speak to the customers, just place them across the counter, okay? How about the townspeople know quite a bit about the mysterious dungeon? Oh, Phil, yeah. Also, if you want to see how much gold you, we have in the bank, I left an account book by our... <laughs> by the bed. Darling, aren't you itching to get started on your adventure? I'll bet you forgot something. Here's your lunchbox. Go get him, dear. And, yep. From the king. Movement value monsters and you is turn-based, so don't sweat it. Face the monsters while you're changing position. When running away, watch out for diagonal attacks. Very good advice there. Walk around to recover HP, but stay clear of danger. Hit undead with the thunder staff. Change monsters with the chain staff. Use expel and chaos staffs too. When you can't run away, use a return herb or throw a confusion herb at monsters. To raise your strength level slightly, use a medicinal herb or elixir herb at maximum strength. Oh. Okay. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, use an antidote herb to recover lost strength due to poison. Then use your strength seeds. Check the map to see if an enemy is sleeping. Rings never wear out, but be wary of curses by identifying them first. The end. Hurry right back, Papa. I promise I'll be a good boy when you're gone. Guess what, dear? We have zero gold in the bank. <laughs> what? But I brought back 977. Ah. If you're defeated in the cave, half of your gold will be stolen by those dirty, rotten trick bags. Also, the pesky demonites will relieve you of all your hard-earned items. Well, I guess the trick bags are the kinder of the two. Like, they could rip off all your gold. Those demonites are called baby satans. I mean, they aren't frightening, just satans, just huge pains in the butt. Can I just say I love this game? Dealer from the next town. Okay. I heard that a new shop has been built here, so I came here to check it out. Ha! Ah, you call this a store? All this cheap and shoddy construction? Surely you don't expect serious profits out of the slipshod operations such as this. Oh, but the next big gust of wind says... Okay, jackass, you can proceed to leave now. Let me see. Ah! All my items gone. Well, time to be badass, Torneco. I say as I first get slapped right in the face by a slime. Oh, that's a Jackie. One of the things I always loved about Mystery Dungeon games that are based off of other franchises is that you can just... You can easily identify some of the monsters in them, you know? And then know to be wary about those monsters because you're like, oh wait. That guy's bigger, better, better than some of these other foes. Mm, don't want to descend just yet. Ah, multiple jackies. Huh. Strange. Very strange. Oh well. Money? Oh, wait, does that mean that there's a ascend and descend ladder, or is there just particular cases where I want to... Hmm. This works a lot more differently than the first Mystery Dungeon game. Oh, I s keep saying the first Mystery Dungeon game. I mean... THE Mystery Dungeon game that I played. Because I have no clue whether or not... Oh. A lot faster. Stop that. Because I wasn't given an option to take materials to this dungeon. 
but I also wasn't given an option to, like, go separate places. I don't know how to word it. Gold sword! Yes! The game just gave me a gold sword plus three. Now, gold weapons are not strong. Uh, they keep very real lifey when it comes to that. But, I mean, it's a gold sword. I could sell it. But it's a gold sword plus three. Mmm. Ah, dang it. I am, as they say, Le Bond. Damn it! I just got a gold sword! I ruined that one pretty quickly. Oh, hey, how are we gonna punch that magician? That's a good idea. Just keep plugging away at your search, dear. Well, I have to go back to work now. Try not to overexert yourself, okay? Alright, so I'm pretty, I'm pretty sure that the goal of this is pretty much just to... Ah, dang it. Pretty much just to keep on plugging away at the dungeon until... Certain events happen, I guess? Depending on... How awesome you get your place to get. Yeah, the... <laughs> I think that this game is a lot less forgiving than the PlayStation game. Gives me gold sword plus three. Immediately rips it out of my hands. <laughs> uh, I had glory. I had awesome. Well, I guess from now on though, what I should aim to do is try to get as much money as I possibly can before kicking the bucket. Because I'm not sure what else to do besides that. Return herb, which again, the return herb, or to a different location, hopefully safer location. By the name of the return herb, always check your descriptions. Just always. Dang it. Because by the name of return herb, I was assuming that that was going to teleport me right back to level one. And. Get me the heck out of there. Ugh. So much damage. I'm... I'm taking it. Just in case. There's loot to be had up here, after all. I drop spread. Hang it. Was really hoping for a sword of some sort. As a roguelike dungeon uh, crawling game. Hmm. I don't know. I'm trying to think of the actual very first roguelike dungeon uh, crawling game that I ever played, and it had to have been Tornico. Well, this is just unfair. What's this one do? It freezes all enemies adjacent to you. What? Lies. Slander. All enemies adjacent to me. I mean, it numbed them. I'm dead again. <laughs> Oh, my lord. Eaves drops. Oh, I was drops. Alright. I need to essentially just choose locations where there aren't going. God damn it, that thing is so fast. I got nothing I can use. I can eat some bread. That's about it. And he essentially gets to move twice a turn. 
there was no win in that one. Mm. Just keep plugging away at your search. Don't overexert yourself, the game says. Having killed me twice in this particular video. <sighs> I wonder what the ultimate end game of this game is, though. Legit curious what the ultimate end of this game would be. I only need to look into that before I, you know, continue playing this game. Because as fun as I do find ro certain roguelikes to be. Uh, don't know how interesting of a let's play it will be to go. Okay, so I died again. Medicinal herb. Sorry, medical herb. Alright, go please, just slap the goddamn slimes. Maybe pick up, maybe grant me some more offensive stuff game. Torch, leather. Leather shield. Makes, wait. Makes you less hungry, so my hunger will go down slower? Not opposed to that. Not opposed to that at all. Ugh, excuse me. Hiccuping. Yay, leveled up. Maybe now I won't. <laughs> what am I saying? Totally gonna die. As soon as they throw more ghosts and jackies and whatnot at me. Did I even get to like level 3 the last three times I came down here so far? Seriously, a sword? Shield? I killed. Oh, God damn. It gave me by kill. I don't even have a weapon. It was like last time you gave me a freaking upper and I had no shield. Alright, there's a Jackie. Punch him. Money. That's kind of weird too. Is that you pick up. You have to pick up explicitly get money, as far as I know. I mean, unless the game also has some other reason for, uh, items. Ooh, emerald. Alright. Actually, strength plus three? Hell yeah. That's just rude. Alright. We will equip... And shoot this ghost. Please, game. I've only just started. Okay, I'm not gonna touch that. That's just mean. Freaking golem esque statues. Yeah, you know what? It says strength, um, in the menu there, but strength pretty much just means. Uh, how to equate it? More akin to like life. So if someone poisons you, it's it reduces that, but it doesn't actually. From what I have been seeing, anyways, it has doesn't actually do anything to your uh, damage, which is you know sucky. There was both a sword and a shield. 
and that explosion destroyed them both. I cannot tell you exactly how angry I am at that. Mmm. That's a flavor of salty that I didn't think I'd have to experience. And yet here I am. <laughs> oh, there's gotta be an easy way to get out of this place. Or is it one of those, I don't know, do you get, go down to level 10 and then you come back up again? And then it just has different monsters each time you do? Stipulations, trying to think of how the hell this game works. Da 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 It's definitely a lot more cruel. That's pretty much where I'm at right now, is that this game is far more cruel than the first game of the Miss... <clears throat> so... Okay... Am I gonna be able to win this? These guys better give me a load of experience though. Like, level me up at least twice. And it's like, oh, there's a... It would be. It would be right next to the magician. Ghosts. Please. Alright. Numb. Arrow trap. Game, please. I'm trying to have a good time. Uh, I I don't want to use that just yet. What's okay? It's only a slime. I'm I'm salty about that trap. Not salty about the. Uh, I'm really salty about the monster room, because this place is loaded with goodies. I... I have to wake up the magician, don't I? Or diagonal movement. Gold sword, blinding, eavesdrop, eavesdrop. Or I could go to the next level. Let's, let's go to the next level. Sounds like a good idea. Lilipa. I'm... Game, please. I, I literally had just gotten here. Alright, if I equip the gold sword... Go ahead and call an episode here. When we return, um, I, I'm going to double check the premise of this game and then I'll get right back to you guys. Thank you everyone so very much for watching uh, so far in this chaos. I hope you guys are having a good time watching my demise and uh, I hope to see you guys in the next video. Take care. Cheers.